Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new video. Before I say anything guys, I really just want to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers on YouTube. I can't thank you guys enough. I know we've got a long way to go, but 100 subs is huge and it means that we have a custom URL now. So I really appreciate that guys. We have a custom URL, so to get to my channel, you can just type in youtube.com slash untoldmite into any web browser and find my channel. Anyway, first thing I want to say is, guys, I apologize in previous videos. I know I said every YouTube video from here on out would be recorded in 1080p, 60fps quality. Now, I was streaming in 720p up until a few days ago, so now all future recordings on YouTube and all future streams should be in 1080p, 60fps. So it should be a very smooth experience for you guys, and I think you guys will really like it. Now, this is going to mean we're going to have some drop frames every now and again, but overall it should be really smooth. Now, the reason I want to make this video for you guys today is I get asked all the time, I get these questions like, do you play claw, do you use mouse and keyboard, how do you build so fast, how do you edit so quickly? So this video today is going to be a little bit different from usual. I know you guys are used to seeing recordings from the stream, you know, VODs where I take and I edit recordings from the stream and play them back for you guys on YouTube or, YouTube, or videos without a webcam and without my microphone audio or any of that. So today is a little bit different, and there will be more f videos like this in the future, more tutorial videos, things that I hope will help you guys improve and, and learn things. So stay tuned till the very end, though, because I'm going to be talking for a little bit, but this video probably isn't going to be that long. So at the end, I'm definitely going to have some gameplay, I think. Uh, so stay, stay, in tune, stay tuned to the very end of the video for that, guys. Anyway, so if you guys know anything about me, if you've watched the stream before, you know, I've been playing. I've been playing Fortnite for a long time. I have almost 1,400 wins on Xbox. I've been playing on Xbox One since before season one. And in May, just last month, I finally switched over to PC, and I only have nine wins so far. It hasn't been very long. But yeah, this entire time, Xbox One and PC, I've never played mouse and keyboard. I always play on controller. So to answer that question, guys, I play on controller. All right, and up until November, I've been playing Fortnite since October of 2017. So before season one, I started playing Fortnite before season one, before there were any skins even released into the game, anything like that. But yeah, and that's a long time. And up until from October 2017 to about November 2018, I was using a standard Xbox One controller to play Fortnite. Now, in November of 2018, I finally switched to an Xbox One Elite wireless controller. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you right here. So essentially, the Elite wireless controller, it's $149.99 retail. I'll put a link in the description for anyone that's interested in possibly purchasing one. I would say it's a great investment, but I would say it's definitely not necessary. It offers a lot of benefits, and I'll go into those in detail a little bit later in this video. But essentially, you can accomplish a lot on a standard controller. I was very good at the game, very good at editing, very good at building, on a, playing Fortnite on a standard controller for over a year. Now, that's not to say that the Elite controller doesn't offer advantages and I wouldn't recommend it to other people because I definitely would. So anyway, I switched to the Elite controller in like November of 2018, right? And then it takes like a solid two weeks to get used to, I'm not going to lie to you, to get used to the new binds. It's, it's very different using those paddles on the back of the controller that you see right here. It takes some getting used to, but after about two weeks, I got pretty good with it. And then I used it for about a month until one of the joysticks, actually, one of the joysticks right here, this left joystick was having like really bad controller drift and it was impossible to play because my controller just, my character wouldn't sit still. The joystick would move on its own. But anyway, I got it fixed and I didn't actually end up, I took a over two month break from Fortnite during like December and January. And when I came back, I stalled a little bit and used a standard controller, but I eventually Got my Elite controller fixed. Luckily, it had a manufacturer's warranty. Microsoft was good about that. So anyway, this is what I use now, guys. This is what, hopefully, you can see in the webcam here. This is an Xbox One Elite wireless controller. Now, I'm not using it wirelessly because I play on PC now, so I don't use Bluetooth. I don't think this controller even has Bluetooth capabilities. But I plug this controller directly into the back of my PC with a USB cable. USB-C or USB 3.0 cable, something like that. And that, this is how I play Fortnite, guys. Now, I use the mouse and keyboard for stuff when I'm outside of the game. But when I'm playing Fortnite, I exclusively use this controller. It has these paddles on the back. And these paddles 
help and I'll show you exactly how they help here all right so anyway I'm gonna show you there's this app that you can get on PC but it's on console too I used this before I switched to PC you know like a month ago this is called like the Xbox accessories app and it's on console it's on PC and here you can like configure your binds essentially for your controller you can you can do this for a standard controller but I don't really know what you know how much it would really benefit you but for the elite controller at least you can see now here all my buttons that are on the right side of the controller here I never have to take my right thumb off of the joystick and press one of these buttons so I can always focus on my aim right I can always focus on my aim while I'm jumping while I'm reloading while I'm switching to my pickaxe all these things right because Y is bound to like switching to my pickaxe B is uh, is to pull out my build menu and then X is to reload and like place traps and then a is to jump right so i never have to take my thumb my right thumb off the joystick at any time to press those buttons because all of these buttons a b x and y are bound to these paddles on the back of my controller right so i just press them with my middle finger and ring finger right my middle fingers and ring fingers so i don't have to use my thumb to press these buttons so that's the main advantage of the controller but it, it offers some uh some other advantages like uh, let's look in here right so if you go in like try to edit stuff right so you can you can remap the buttons however you want I don't even have these buttons mapped at all and that actually helped me learn to use the paddles a lot better was just leaving these unmapped because that way if you make a mistake and press a B X or Y nothing happens so you're punished for it and now the left stick you can adjust the sensitivity of the sticks the joysticks which you know you don't really need it but you know I like it I have it on instant for both of them you can have it on instant aggressive delayed default smooth default is just like what you would get with a standard controller right and I just I just like instant I like being able to move my joystick and getting an instant response like that you see you can see here and uh, and then the triggers also they have like these hairpin triggers right so that you don't have to press the trigger down as far to see I only have to press it like down like half as much it doesn't take as long to to be able for you to press the trigger and for your your weapon to fire so that's a that's a little nice thing and then vibrations I don't even use those brightness I have that all the way turned down so that's basically all you got to see there but that's called the Xbox accessories app and right here's the Xbox elite wireless controller and now I'm gonna go into my settings in Fortnite to show you so I play I used to play on you know way back in the day when this game first came out I played on standard like everybody then I switched to combat pro then I switched to builder pro laid on both of both of those movements but that's fine but anyway now they have custom binds and they've had custom binds for a while right so here you can see my controls if you watched my video I made a previous video about like my settings showing you some now those haven't changed very much like in terms of these settings these are all on low or off now and the only thing I have on epic is view distance a lot of people have it this way not much has really changed I play on windowed full screen just because I'm streaming so I can't really play on full screen it causes issues with the display capture I have my sensitivity a little bit on the X and Y from the previous video but just about everything else is the same brightness 0.5 audio settings and then colorblind settings I don't use these I don't plan I only play on controller right but the main thing is I edit with the left stick a lot of you already know that and so all these buttons anytime you see a B X or Y right here I'm gonna I'm gonna go into windowed modes so that you can see better look here watch this so I can put it up side by side here I actually close the Xbox accessories app so let me open this back up right so you can see you can see the way my elite controller is mapped and how how that makes a difference here when I'm making my custom binds in Fortnite right and now my custom binds in Fortnite, they might change. They're definitely subject to change. I might change them in the future. I might play with them, toy with them, see what I like, see what I don't like, test things out. But for now, these are what they are, right? And so anytime I press any of these buttons, A, B, X, or Y, these are on these paddles on the back of my controller, as you can see here. So if you see my settings and you see A, B, X, and Y, don't, don't think that I'm pressing these buttons because I'm not. So those are my combat controls, and then these are my build controls. So it really helps out with, like, placing traps, switching my pickaxe switching between builds and my weapons and jumping jumping is huge 
because I don't have to take my right thumb off the joystick and I can aim a lot better better in Fortnite while I'm jumping. So that's huge. But anyway, those are my Fortnite settings. There you go. And I really hope that this guy, I really hope that this helped you out, guys. I really hope, you know, if this helped you out, just drop a like on the video, subscribe, share it with anyone and everyone. And I hope that you guys have a great day. And don't forget, I will be making, I know this is just about my controller settings and all that. But for anybody that is interested, I will be making a video in the future that details like my my entire setup, right? So the microphone that I'm using right here that you can hear, you know, my monitor, my PC, my headset, everything, my webcam. I will make a video that shows you guys everything I'm using, my entire setup, so that you guys can more fully understand that and see if that helps you out with anything at all but if this video did help you out at all guys i would really appreciate don't forget untold might in the item shop if you want to support me as a creator just go to the bottom right of the item shop type in untold might no spaces click accept boom there you go that would help support me tremendously anyway i really appreciate you guys just check the description if you want to see where to get one of these controllers yourself if it's something you're interested in purchasing. It's not a, it's not necessary, but I, I would say that it definitely does provide you an advantage. Anyways, I really hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. So, thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. They take a hit.